So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at eight of one Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order, so that way you guys can be aware of what's leaving during the week. So before we actually look at eight of one, let's look at the for the video, which this is kind of spoilerish because this is a set that I'm making for an exotic ornament, but you'll get you guys will know. Oh, either way, this is it. I'm not finished with it because uh, New Monarchy, as much as I love it, doesn't match the same colors as the ornament. <sighs> It's really rough because I have to match this essentially style and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it unless I use more pieces from this set which I might actually end up doing maybe we'll see but helmet armor exhibition ornament for the assassin's cowl one of my favorite ornaments uh, the wolf white wolf grips for the arms for the chest piece warriors memorial caress the sun apex rights for the boots and then the white wolf cloak for the cloak so yeah i i don't think this looks bad i definitely would switch out the arms for something else not because i don't want two of the same pieces but i don't feel like it mixes well with this right here i definitely think the chest piece mixes well with this i love the combination of like this right here going down almost the same as this i think that's super cool um yeah I, the shader is probably just going to be the biggest annoyance for me so if anything i would most likely Definitely not use sun, sun Apex Grips. I hate that shit. Uh, maybe the cloak, if I'm being honest. Maybe. But for those of you who don't know, it's basically this ornament right here, the Still Hunt. I want to make a video with this ornament because I love this exotic. I will definitely be making one for the base look, which is just going to be like a normal hunter look. Maybe a little bit more uh, Gucci or like fancy looking hunter, but hunter nonetheless. But we'll see about that. I still have a few things that I'm going to be making. But I'll explain further at the end of the video. So that is the fit for the video. For 801 we have Genotype Null Zero for the shader. Which I like the shader a lot. Just be aware that the off color is white. Which is really weird. Uh, it doesn't even show you here. Which is funny. But yeah there's an off, off like super weird white color for this. Um, which just be aware of that. We have the Mad Monk, which I love. This is one of my favorite shaders, considering it gives you a really good black. Now that we have Super Black in the game, you might think that's not important, but Super Black is a very dark black, and most of the time is not the same black as some other colors. So that's why I still think Mad Monk has its place. And then Dead Orbit's Fate, which is one of the first shaders that we got from Dead Orbit, if I remember correctly. And this actually looks really cool with this set. Um, it's a really good black and white. I definitely would recommend this shader as well. So, as for the armor sets, they're all right here. Let me go check real quick while you guys are looking at the armor. I I do think the hunters have some pretty good pieces. Specifically, the chest piece I think is really cool. I think the arms are unique, and the helmet I had think it ha I personally do think it has its place in your fashion repertoire. And then the boots and the cloak I think are weak. Titans, if I remember correctly, it is the yeah should be hold on let me see yeah it is so the mongolian set is what i call it just because the helmet and the boots kind of give me that vibe i will say anything that you see that is orange does not change color so everything but the boots essentially i do think the helmet has its place but i think the arms and the chest piece have too much orange for me to really forgive and the mark as cool as it is also has that orange Warlocks, I'm going to be honest, I only like the helmet and the chest piece. The boots and arms, I think, are boring, and that goes the same for the bond. So, let me know what you guys think about the armor sets that Ada One is selling. I personally do think that she has some cool things. Um, it's just I wish there was more rare things in there, because sometimes I just feel like it doesn't... There's not a lot of rare things. She just kind of sells the same old, same old. As for Banshee, he has False Promises with Subsistence and Sympathetic Arsenal, Annual Skate with Outlaw and Swash, Farewell with Heating Up and Unrelenting, Widow's Bite with Firmly Planted and Quick Draw, and then Honor's Edge with Tireless Blade and Flash Counter. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I probably would say Annual Skate would be pretty nice. Outlaw and Swash is pretty nice. Other than that, I really don't care. But let me show you real quick where Zer's at. I should have done this week one, but... Um, there, here's the tower. You're just gonna go right and walk all this over here. So, I definitely think Zer having a like permanent place is super dope. It will fuck over people who like to bet where Zer was at, specifically two streamers that I know. 
uh based all their ch whole thing around that which kind of sucks but at the same time i don't really care <laughs> like i'm happy that he's just here now and that is pretty much it he is right next to icor so let's see what he's selling we're gonna go through here first we're gonna skip this because this is his rank rewards this will always be the same usually so multi various strange offers arbalist catalyst this is actually really good um <clears throat> i definitely would recommend this one bad juju is also really good extends the duration of the string of string of curses which is the buff that it gets so i definitely think these two are really good lucky raspberry with some okay rolls i'm not gonna lie it's not bad uh heart of inmost light which this is also pretty good i would bump up that resilience to a plus 10 so that way you'd have a 17 once you master work this you'd have a 19 27 19 that's pretty nice. Nezerak Sin, uh, mobility is way too high, and then three Gambit Ingrams. Okay. Let's do this one real quick. Um, I think these are always going to be the same as well. So we'll do this one. <clears throat> All right. So for exotics, we have Hawk Moon with Moving Target, Crimson, Borealis, and Darcy. For the weapons, we have. Chrysura Mellow with Outlaw and Harmony. Wait, yeah, Harmony. Scaife Lock with Subsistence and Eye of the Storm. Deafening Whisper with Pulse Monitor and Threat Detector. Far Future with Lead from Gold and Wellspring. Thread and Needle with Rangefinder and Vorpal. Code Dulo with Field Prep and Unrelenting. And Quick Fang with Tireless Blade and On Guard. So for the armor, it's actually going to be the Season of the Worthy Armor Set. I'll have it up right now. I. I think there's some good pieces here for every class. That being said, I do think there's some that have worse pieces. So let's go to seasons and it's right here. So hunters, I think the helmet, you can definitely make it work. The arms and the boots, I've I've noticed that you can definitely use it for really like bulky tactical sets. The chest piece, you can do definitely use it as well. And I think the cloak is definitely like a meme. But I've seen some people do some cool things with it. So for me, I just don't really like it. But again, other people have done some cool things with it. Uh, Titans helmet is decent. Arms, I'm not a big fan of. I think the chest piece is cool. I think the boots are cool. And I think the mark is whatever's. And then last but not least, Warlock's helmet is a dub. Definitely get the helmet is really, really cool. The boots are definitely cool as well because they, they're basically just regular boots, which I do like. And they're skinny. I think the only pieces I'm not a big fan of are going to be the arms and the bond because the chest piece I can definitely utilize as well. Now, I didn't mention this before, but for those of you who are savvy and know how the fashion in this game works, you guys will notice that there's a lot of yellow cords, I guess you would say. Those don't change color. So if you're interested in some of these pieces and notice that, like, for example, the Titan chest piece has the yellow lines or pretty much any chest piece has those yellow lines. Unfortunately, they don't change color, so you will, you will have to like lean into that or ignore it. But God forbid, please just lean into it. Don't ignore it. But yeah, that's the only unfortunate part is the fact that it does have a, like lines that don't change colors. So let me know what you guys think about Zer. I definitely think I think I think I said this last week, but I'll mention it again. I think his changes are really really cool. Um, I just wish I wish we could see his loot pool. Um, that being said, I understand that Zer's all about the randomness, but I want to see what he has. At least tell me what seasonal stuff he has, like from what seasons or expansions, because that would be nice. Um, also remember, you can essentially get anything from a lot of things from these, uh, boxes right here. So that's also a cool thing, I guess. Let me just get one. Just, yeah, Opulent Stalker, which was last week. So that's pretty funny, but yeah the other thing is if you want to level up Zer, you have to buy stuff from Zer. i still don't even know how you get the uh, strange coins i just get them randomly so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know how, let me know if you guys know how to get strange coins i would love to know just because uh i, I kind of want to find them and then last but not least we have eververse with minimalism for the shader this looks pretty cool actually though i would probably just switch that shader out or the uh, cloak out for a black because I'm not a fan of that silver, but this is decent actually. Uh, we have Royal Treatment, which I should probably mention this. This is a shader from an armor set, which 
let me show you guys real quick so if you guys like the shader from the abyss walker set for the hunters or for any of the other classes this is the shader you're looking at it's a uh, whatever i just said it was called royal treatment so that is there uh pyramid entrance and then for the armor we have intrepid discovery strides for the hunters which if you like these boots and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want them or not, I'm going to be honest, there are some blue versions of this. It just doesn't have the lasso, but there's a blue version of these boots. Um, that being said, let's go look at the other classes because uh, I know some people are going to ask to look at that. So not, not that one. It's at the bottom. So hunters or titans, it's this one. Also, I should probably remind you that these are also blue versions, so you can get these from a blue version and warlocks I don't know. oh yeah it's this one I'm not a big fan of this one kind of boring looking in my opinion so yeah let me just show you real quick um, because I know some people might not believe me so I think it's these right here nope not that one um because I know I know there's a version of that nope is it a green here it is so it's not the same obviously but again like I said they do have them sometimes. Oh, wait, wait, it's right here. Yeah, see? Almost the one to one, aside from the fact that it doesn't have the whip. So, if you are interested, you get the refugee boots. I don't even know if you could get these actually, but yeah, the refugee set, I use this set quite a bit, specifically the cloak and the helmet. I love these two. Um, Titans, you guys also have, I think it's, it will have armor on it. But it is the same boots. Yeah, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> but like I said, if you don't want to spend a bright dust and you do want to still get those boots, you can do that. People will call you out on it. But I mean, at, the, at this point, who gives a shit? We have wiggle room or wiggle worm, I should say. I do like when you throw it, it explodes. Stuff at the bottom, we have augmented apotheosis, which cool. I just wish this was on another exotic because I don't really care for this exotic, especially since it's been nerfed like three fucking times already. Uh, isochronal nano fluid for the hunters. I like this one a lot, quite a bit actually, uh, which is a lie. I'm just kidding. No, I, I don't know. I think it's the fans. I think it's the fact that the arms are really skinny. Um, yeah, like it looks cool. I just, I don't know. I think it's, it, it's this, I think. I think this one is a little too much maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, segment rig. Razor scale shell. A tiny friend. Weekday dance. And then for the transmatch, we have subjugator entrance. Twin snake effects. Reflection effects. And then for the shader shifting cross phase, which is a new one. We have empirical imperative, which is a shader you definitely need to pick up because it's really, really good, especially with war mind uh, inspired sets, considering this was once this was ugh, this was from season of the seraph. That makes sense. Uh, Tyrion abyss. Not the biggest fan of this one. And then Bruised Blush. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it a thousand percent honest with y'all. I don't remember the ornaments that the other classes got. So let's just switch to the other characters while I explain some things. So I currently am working on some fashion videos, obviously. The Hunter and Titan videos for the... Um, for the uh pale heart or armor i'm i've already made it the warlocks are the only ones that i haven't made yet because uh, i haven't um gotten the armor for them i mean i can definitely do it but the, the thumbnail will look terrible abyss inverted yeah, yeah i forgot about that abyss inverted for the heart of inmost light which you definitely need to pick up it's a really really good ornament that being said i don't know if you can turn the glow off anymore be considering they nerfed one of the shaders that i used for it so I will definitely have to test it because I still haven't tested it, but it's still a really cool ornament nonetheless. Definitely pick it up. 
Um, actually, well, I'll start. I'll start talking about that when uh, when we're done looking at this, because I'm I'm already getting distracted. Luna, shut up. Sorry, it's my cat's bell that's on her on her um collar. So we have secant filaments rainant tracery i like this one a lot considering the gems do change color everything changes color it's one of the best ornaments that changes color because you definitely think like oh something here doesn't change color because that's just the vibe it gets or the vibe i get from it but everything changes color and it looks amazing so warlocks hunters titans let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer 801 banshee eververse everything basically there are some really cool things in the game right now that you definitely should pick up let's go back to warlock let me see if i can buy the armor real quick um yeah speaking of that i have already bought or i already have all of the oh let me see if the ghost is available then i can probably buy the armor right now um but i have already made the videos for the hunter and titan uh pale heart armor that's already done i just need to i just need to do the voiceover and render it and that's it i'm done I will most likely have that by the end of the week. If I can do the Warlock one fast, then I will have the Warlock one as well. I still haven't bought the... Um... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm currently on mission two for the Warlock because uh, I just... Man, I've not been wanting to do it for my Warlock. Um, I've not bought the armor from Eververse just because uh, 60 bucks is a lot to ask for. Like... This, it, it sucks because uh, I know that armor is not going to go for sale. But I will still be doing it. It's just going to take me a while because I'm going to be fighting the urge to do it. Because that's 60 bucks a lot of money, dog. Especially when you can just get a fucking full-blown game for that. Um, but aside from that, I'm also working on getting the new armor from the playlists. Because we did get some new playlist armor. That being said some people might get annoyed by it um i might get annoyed by it when i get the full set it's right here you guys will notice like hey it kind of looks like Cl clutch x doll which is very much the thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that there are some pieces that are very reminiscent specifically titans you'll see it a lot more the helmet the chest piece i think the boots as well the arms everything is very much like it looks like that meme where it's like hey can i copy your homer it's like yeah but do it a little bit different type of shit the only difference is that fact that we didn't get it as a leveling armor so if you don't like some of the some of the engravings tough titties because we didn't get it we didn't get it as just blue armor which is very annoying because uh, obviously there's gonna be snakes for the gambit one there's gonna be uh phoenixes for the the crucible one the only thing i like about it is the fact that the vanguard one doesn't look as bad as it usually does so we're going to be doing that armor obviously this armor as well which i still haven't got even for the hunter uh, because getting the armor is really annoying but yeah i have a lot of armor videos that i'm going to be making not only that i'm also going to be going for the uh the raid armor which is very annoying considering i think i think my clan just got a completion yesterday which took a while but I do have some pieces for my hunter, um, two pieces specifically. So I will be making this eventually. I don't know when it's going to be coming out, but I will be making a ver uh, video for this. Obviously, review shaders plus the hunter titan and warlock. That being said, I don't know if I'm going to make it that deep because some of these pieces are extra trash, bro. So I'll try my best, but most likely i will just combine all the classes into one video because i don't think some of these pieces i will ever use so i'm just trying to be transparent because i don't like a lot of that armor um we're also going to be doing some shader reviews because i do think, think some shaders are going to be super bangers and yeah right now uh, i'm still posting the campaign stuff and yeah, I just have a lot of content that I have to go through. Unfortunately, I just have so much limited time. Well, not anymore. I have an extra day off now. But during the weekday or during the work days, I just have like, what was it? Six hours to myself and then I have to go to sleep. So it's rough, but hopefully I can post enough for you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Remember, if you guys want to see anything else. Oh, I also am working on the exotic videos. That's the one thing I forgot. So hunters, I already have all of your exotics, thankfully. And I've already made the sets and made, uh, like I literally have them already. I just need to do the voiceovers. Titans, uh, I think I've done 
the chest piece. I haven't done the arms because I still don't have them. Um, thankfully, I have. I can get them now because I do. I did on uh, level up. What's his face? Um, <clears throat> what's his What's his name? Cryptarch. There we go. I leveled up Cryptarch, so I I can now get these whenever I get an exotic uh, Ingram. And then Warlocks again. I've already told you. I haven't even completed the campaign yet, so I still need to do that. Once I do that, I probably will get the speakers in or speaker sight helmet, and then wait for this one. Yeah, I think that one. This healing grenade spawn here. Yeah, that sounds way better than the other one. So once that's over, Warlocks, you guys will have your own videos. And because the new exotics got the ornaments, I'm combining the ornament video with the exotic video, so that way I can just get that out of the way. So expect a lot of content from that video. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.